Hi everyone, today we're going to be reading a book called Bubble Trouble by Tom Purvisall. Bubble Trouble. Reuben and Felix had always lived next door to each other. They were exactly the same age, exactly the same height, apart from their ears, and they were both left-handed. They also had something else in common. Reuben and Felix loved bubbles. All sorts of bubbles, but mostly they like to blow really, really big bubbles. It was their favorite thing to do, and they always did it together. Until one day Reuben said, I bet I could blow a bigger bubble than you. And that was how the contest started. It was quite friendly at first. But as their machines became more complicated, the games became less fun. My bubbles are the biggest. No, my bubbles are the biggest. What Reuben and Felix needed were some clear rules. So they appointed a group of judges. Oh, that's too thin, too silly, too bubbly. Now they would be able to determine exactly who could blow the biggest bubbles. At last, the competition was official. Crowds flocked from miles around to see Rubens and Felix's sensational bubble blowing machines. The bubbles that they blew were huge, bright and wondrous. Each one was bigger than the last, but all Reuben and Felix could think about was winning. Instead of just trying to blow their own bubbles, they also came up with ingenious ways to cheat. Hmm, doesn't sound so fair. Look, they're bringing out bees and porcupines to try and pop each other's bubbles. Guess what? It didn't always work. But Reuben and Felix refused to give up. The next morning, they both felt convinced that they would finally win until they turned on their bubble blowing machines. There was a clanking, a creaking, a grinding, and a groaning, followed by a very loud bang. Oh my goodness. Now Reuben and Felix realized just how silly they had been. They didn't need all that complicated machinery. All they needed was a little bit of help. So they gathered everyone together. And on the count of three, one, two, three, they all began to blow. Slowly the bubble grew and it grew and it grew and it grew until Together, they had blown the biggest bubble in the world. Everything was back as it should be. Reuben and Felix were best friends again. Yippee! And nothing was ever going to change that. Until Felix said, I bet I can jump higher than you. What do you think about that? Do you think they should start another contest? Or do you think maybe they should come up with an idea together on how they could both jump really high? I think so too. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I hope you have a lot of fun with our bubble activities again this Friday. Bye.